Hey everybody, welcome back to another adventure of Coffee Girl Gaming. Let's jump on into this. Alright you guys, well happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I know we did. And um, I think we're actually starting to feel better in this house. So um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a great week. I might have a birthday this week. So, um, yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see, you know, how everything plays out this week. But, um, in the meantime, we have so many things to do on our island. It's insane. So first of all, let's check our mail and see who sent us a mail. Oh my gosh. We have so much mail. Um, okay. We've got music and then Shino sent us something. It's always fun to chat with you. You make me happy and I thought I'd tell you so. In fact, spoiler alert, a lot of folks like you and care about you and wish they could buy an action figure of you. It's true. <laughs> I'd buy two. She know. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, um, we ordered those light posts and stuff the other day, so let's go ahead and get those and throw these away because I hate keeping things we don't need in our mailbox. Okay, Happy Home Academy. Yes, I know our home is empty. Oh, and then we have these through um, label. I never actually put them in my pocket, so I keep buying clothes when I should be using those vouchers. The rest of them, I mean, we'll just go through those later. Um, let's see what's going on back here. Who's going to be on our island today? Well, it's definitely not Leaf. I don't think I saw Isabel say anybody was going to be on the island today, which is weird. Uh, we got lots of pumpkins that we can sell here. I'm not going to go to the store to get a new outfit today because as you can see, I have a new outfit. Um, I did it yesterday after I was done doing our villager hunt slash campsite villager episode. And so I was like, I'm going to be ready today. So when I popped out, oh, there's a lost book over here. When I popped out, I had my outfit all ready, and I see a balloon in the background, so we gotta hurry. Okay, we'll find out who that owner is, and let's go try and get this balloon over here. We got it. It's hard to see, but we got it. Alright, let's see what's in this balloon here. I have so many presents I have to open. Gold. Cool. I like gold. We'll open up this. This is the KKDMB. Um, a snack machine that I ordered, tailor tickets, the street lamp, and this is obviously a street, a street lamp. Okay. And then this is Gonzo's house, and you can see why I said it kind of looks wintry, because it's like a log cabin, but I don't think the inside's looking very log cabin-ish. Oh, it is. Okay, see, the picture that I saw was not this, so... This is super cute. He is so wintry themed. I just don't know what kind of furniture he's going to have in here. Could be trashy. Like the picture that I saw made it look like it was like a, a dump, but he doesn't look like somebody who would have that. He looks very wintry, but he's super cute. I'm glad we got him. We barely ever get koala bears. So look who it is, coffee girl. It's me, Gonzo. You were the one who inspired me to move myself here. Remember back on the old island, mate? I can't wait to catch up with you as soon as I manage to finish settling in. Well, Gonzo, I can't wait to see your house. So, um, we'll see you. We'll probably see you tomorrow. I don't know if I'll see you again today. Bye-bye. Alright, so I was on my way to the next cranny whenever um, we got interrupted with the book and a balloon. So let me go ahead and see what they have for selling here. See if I can get any presents for residents. Okay, um, how much are these things? Can I give these out as presents? They're kind of cute. No, 500. I'm still gonna buy it for myself because it's cute and I like these things. But they're not expensive enough to give to residents. It has to be at least $800. At least let's sell some things like the pumpkins. Got a dragonfly. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna sell this bed because I already know it. Okay, and how much are you gonna give us today, you guys? 17,000, I will take that. What was so much money that I just sold? Was it the pumpkins? Hmm, I'll take it. You guys can see I bought a bunch of outfits yesterday, so I'm broke. I'm assuming that this is really cheap too. Yeah, 430 bells, but I'll buy it. 
Um, how much are these little lights? 1400. I wish I could buy more than one. Okay, I might have to buy clothes for my villagers to give them as gifts. Okay, we're buying it. I'm just hoping that the store will update before we go to the toy day stuff. I don't think I have the basic cooking recipes, but we can't sell you food or drink recipes until you have the DIY recipes. Upgrade. Okay, so they can't even sell it to me. That's why I don't have it. Okay, let's see about here. Nothing that interests me. I do like this floor, I guess. So something does interest me. Um, so we'll buy this and then we need to go into resident services so we can get some paths and stuff like that. Bye, you guys. I have to say hi to Audie. Hey, Audie, what's up, girl? Hey, how's my bestie, Foxtrot? Did you drop this book? Let me see. Hmm. Thanks for bringing this to me, but it's totes, not mine. Hmm. It kind of strikes me like a Roswell deal. Might be worth a shot. Okay. I know I saw Roswell walking around, so I'll make sure to take it to him. Oh no, you guys, I don't think I went to the ABD yesterday. That means I'm probably gonna have to start all over again. Yup. Oh man, I need to remember to come here every day. Cause that's a big difference. Okay, let's redeem some Nook Miles and see what we can get. We don't have very many. Um, I already have some path designs that I actually picked out. Um, so we want this one. Custom design path permit so that we can make our own and then I still like to put pass underneath the design and I know it's doing double the work but then it registers for Isabel so that she can see that I'm decorating the island so she doesn't think that it's just plain so um, I always like to double do the pass so that she knows there's a path there and that way we can get a five-star island easier. I don't want to get a path that's going to show up underneath so I could do like dirt or sand, but then when you walk on it, it doesn't really make a noise. Let me see. I might just do dirt or sand because it'll still register with her. Mm, I'll do brick. I'm changing my mind. <laughs> okay, so right now, I'm probably going to do the brick one right now because it's kind of leaning towards you guys are choosing the Christmas theme. But I don't want to jump the gun and do the Christmas path if all of a sudden there's a bunch of you that vote for the coffee theme. Um, but as of right now when I'm making this video, it's 77% likely that it's going to be Christmas. So on my next video, that's when we'll start doing the designs based on what you guys chose. Okay, so we got some Nook Miles, which we absolutely need. I should be doing a bunch of things to try to get Nook Miles because I need them. Okay, and then Isabel now has ordinances, so we can give the villagers some ordinances. Okay, so good morning. Oh, yay. As I said in the broadcast, we can now enact ordinances, special rules that change things about the island. The others and I decided that as our resident representative, you should be in charge of our ordinances. This means that you can enact or dismiss any ordinance to try to make life here on Deja Bru easier. Whenever you want to talk about ordinances, just let me know that you want to review island features. Now then, how can I help you? I want to review island features. So discuss ordinances. I'm not going to choose a song or a flag until everything's done with the vote. So that will be coming very soon. At the moment, we don't have any ordinances in effect on Deja Brew. Enacting an ordinance means lots of paperwork. You'll need 20,000 bells as a collaboration and filing fee. Do you want to get started and enact an ordinance? Yes, even though it's 20,000, oh my gosh. Okay, which ordinance would you like to enact? Okay, so I'm kind of on the fence of which one to choose because the beautiful island ordinance, okay, it prevents cockroaches and stuff from going into my home. It prevents weeds. The villagers will water the flowers. But at the same time, I'm afraid that I'm going to get like a flower boom and the flowers are going to go everywhere. I don't care about the early bird ordinance because I usually play when everything's already open. Um, the night owl ordinance doesn't make any sense to me because I'm not usually playing late at night. And then this one, the bell boom ordinance is usually, it changes the structure of the money. It says it's for wealthy mayors or um, players, but I'm kind of leaning towards this one. I don't know if I don't like it, then I can change it. 
but um, it's to me it looks like when you sell things you can get more money. Um, let me try it and you guys are probably yelling at me, no don't do it, but I'm gonna do it. And it keeps the price of the house the same. You got it, in that case I'd better get to work. The bell boom ordinance will go into effect tomorrow. Okay, I'm hoping I didn't make a bad move. Please. <laughs> okay. Um, let's discuss a resident. There's been a resident that's been on the island that's been kind of bugging me. Um, but I, I really think Isabel should know who it is, don't you? I want this island to be a welcoming place for all. So do you still need my help? Yes, I do. Which resident has been troubling you? Mm -hmm. Carlos. I love, I love sheep. It's just Carlos and me have a bad history. What about Carlos' behavior is upsetting you? Um, the way he talks. Oh my, I am sorry to hear that Carlos hasn't been polite when speaking with you. Would you like me to talk with Carlos and do what I can to put a stop to his behavior? Yes, please. Say no more. I'll have a stern talk with Carlos about appropriate language on the island. I found that my cheery disposition, look at her little face, can be quite intimidating in certain contexts. Please let me know if any other folks are giving you trouble. Okay, so no one else is giving me trouble, so I'm good for now. Hey Marshall, man, I don't have any presents for him. Let me go see if I can get him a cute shirt or something. And my little Sherby Sherb is in here already. He's so cute. Um, oh, hello, coffee girl. You seem pretty chipper. You're always making the effort to stop by, and I can't so much as offer you a cup of tea. I'm sorry. If we had just one more pair of claws around here to help out, I might be able to chat more. Oh, not this again. Come on, Sable. You gotta stop torturing yourself like this. Our sister LaBelle went out into the world to pursue her dream of being a big-time designer, and we promised her we'd work like hedge like hedge dogs to take care of this job while she's gone. Remember, sis? How could I forget when I've got you? But you're right, Mabes. I'll get my head out of the clouds. That said, coffee girl, I can't offer sparkling conversation, but I hope you'll keep stopping by anyway. Oh, you know I will. Okay. Let's go see if there's any cute shirts in here. Okay, we do have our tailor's tickets, so let's see. I got these cute dresses yesterday. I don't know if I got this gold one. That one's cute. I think I got this one, this one, and maybe this one. Hmm. This outfit's really cute too. I think I'm going to get this one for me. And since we need to spend $3,000, i am not going to waste it. I need to spend $3,000. Oh, I love when they have these little hats. They're so cute. Okay, that's an outfit I will wear another day. Not today. And we just went right over 3000 so that's awesome. So I spent 100 bells for the outfit, which I can totally agree with. Oops, I didn't mean to wear it. Oh well, I guess I'm wearing it. <laughs> that's what happens when you don't pay attention when you click buttons. Okay. Um, oh, and look, they have the same outfit right here. How cute. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It's exactly the same. So we got some Nook Miles. What did we get? We got a growing collection because you know I buy all kinds of outfits. So this one tends to get, you know, all the way to the fifth one, the fifth tier very quickly with me. Okay. Grr, I gotta find something for, I wonder how much this is. 880 bells. I could give this to Sherb and Marshall. Um, they look cute with these little glasses, don't you think? Maybe I'll buy a couple of them. And then maybe I'll buy this little coat here for a couple of the girls. Oh, it's a detective coat. Hmm. You know who that might look good on is Roswell. Let me get that for Roswell. I think I can give Roswell gifts. And what about this? A boa skirt. I'll get this for a couple of the girls because I already got them the Christmas dress, so I don't want to get that for them again. And then they'll have duplicate outfits. Okay, I don't know if I can give Sherb the glasses right now. Oh, he likes the detective coat. Maybe I should give him the detective coat. What are you here to check out? Can you pick something out for me? Yeah, I want to I wanna give you the detective coat because you're staring at it and you would look so cute in it. Okay, uh, let's find it now. Detective coat. Here you go, Sherb. This is so you. 
Is this for real? Am I really getting a detective coat? This is real great. My other clothes are kind of crusty, so I'm going to try it on right now. Oh, look at him. He's a little detective. Too bad I can't give him the glasses right now, too. How do I look? Do I look dashing? I've always wanted to look dashing. Here, coffee girl, a simple parka just for you. Bah. Thank you, Sherby Sherp. Maybe I'll get one more detective coat just in case. Let's go see some of our villagers and do the path. I get so sidetracked, you guys. Ciao, Sulky. Let's talk. Another day in paradise, or as I like to call it, deja brew. Okay. Marshall, I have something for you. I didn't mean to give him the simple parka, but I guess he has it now. A simple parka? This is the kind of gift I'd got to try on right away. Look at that. Oh yeah, the color is exquisite. I can't let you walk away empty-handed after you were so generous to me. Here, you gotta take a moss ball. <laughs> Thank you, you're so kind. Okay, let me do these paths really quick here, and then we'll have to give out the gifts. Okay, we'll do the brick path for right now. And we're just gonna make it go across the shops here, just something really simple. So just give me a moment and I'll complete it, and I'll be right back. Hey Roswell, I got your book for you. I hope it's yours. Um, words are not enough to express the gratitude, so how about I let this gift do you do the talking? Thank you. Enjoy your new mint condition conductor's jacket from my personal collection. All right, can I give you a present? Look for a rap session. Looking for a rap session with old Roswell, eh? Yeah, I can give you a present. Oh, for real? Yeah, I'm gonna give you... I'm not gonna give you the conductor's jacket because you just gave that to me. Here we go, the detective jacket. I think he would look really cute in the detective jacket. Oh my gosh. Is this really a detective's coat? This is the kind of gift that I've got to try on right away. There you go. It's so you, Roswell. So you. Hey, not bad. Really, really not bad at all. Dare I say good? Hold up. I can't let you give me something this good for free. Let's see if I have anything decent to give you. Aha. How about a snow globe? Oh, I would love a snow globe. That's awesome. Thank you, Roswell. Okay. Gotta find Shino and give her her little skirt because I gave her a dress yesterday. Well, I couldn't find Shino, but I found Adi. So let me go ahead and give her a skirt. I don't know if they'll even wear the skirt because they'll need a shirt to wear with it. So they probably won't even wear it. But I'll give it to her anyway because it's a gift and it'll help build my friendship level with her. Hey there, what do you need? Oh, I can't give her any presents. We gotta build our friendship level. Okay, well at least I got to talk to her so that I can help build it. She'll probably let me give her some presents tomorrow. Okay, I finally found Shino. Hey, it's Coffee Girl. Coffee Girl, I know this is like totally sudden, but I need to get rid of something quick. You wanna buy my concierge uniform? How much? Awesome, how does 2,880 bells sound? Um, sold, I'll, I'll buy it from you. I love you, I can't, I can't bargain with you. There you go. Alrighty, here's your glamtastic concierge uniform. Take good care of it. All right, and I have something to give you. Here's your boa skirt. I hope you like it. Ah, a boa skirt. Did you get this because you thought I'd rock it? That makes me so happy. I'm totally feeling the love, okay? Thanks a bunch, coffee girl. I feel kind of bad being the only one getting stuff. Here, take a windbreaker. Thank you, you're so sweet. All right, yeah, I didn't think she'd put it on. But here's the path, I finished it. And, um, yeah, so there's so many more things that we have to do, but tomorrow we'll find out what kind of thing we are having for the island. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna snow soon. Soon, I saw snow flurries on the island yesterday. So it's gonna snow soon. All right, you guys, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Baristas, I love you, I love you, I love you. And we're off to the next adventure. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.